Hello, my name is Merlin Vergara, and I am a digital artist. As a digital artist, I first found the clean, precise lines of Kazuko Miyamoto's string and thread art, very reminiscent of the bold, striking forms which I tend to pursue when creating art. I actually never really heard of her till I took this course, but upon seeing her work for the first time, I was enraptured, and I felt the need to learn more about her. Kazuko Miyamoto is a preeminent feminist figure of minimalism, born in 1942, and started creating her first work around 1968, a while after she became the assistant to artist Solowit. Solowit himself was called the father of minimalism and influenced Miyamoto greatly, and she made it something of her own. In the 1970s, her exhibition String and Thread began, which were a series of installations made of industrial cotton, wool strings, and nails, stretching between two ends in a right angle. The structures, for example, the black poppy, is not a solid, but it feels like a solid. The delicate black strings are stretched tightly to look tough and sturdy, and you can see it from a new form, full of motion. The humble simplicity and delicacy of these strings possesses the environmental space. It does this insistently, but without overemphasis. These open construction sculptures are very eloquent. They mesmerize you with how the thread is weaved, cross-hatching one another, how it becomes like an optical illusion, your mind questioning if this is a two-dimensional or three-dimensional piece. How these sculptural works appear to begin with a grid and melt into a more organic figure in the end is something to behold. One of our installations, named Male One, is a more drastic example of string construction. The strong crisscross network of black strings throughout the composition contrasts especially with the white wall serving as its canvas. The direction of the string dives down instead of a natural slope, giving it more intensity. While her theme isn't entirely clear, the mystery of what it could mean is honestly pleasing. There's something aesthetically pleasing about our string and thread series, as it has a harmony between tranquility and chaos. As an artist, I usually aim for harmony in all my compositions.